Hello dear ones, it's Alice, I'm of the stars. And I just asked a bunch of people on the psychic plane who like to kill people, why it is they like to kill. And my notion is that if we understood better why people want to kill, then we could, we could work with that in terms of healing, spiritual healing. So I got a lot of answers, very interesting answers. One was, one gentleman said that he, um, he liked to see the um, light come out of the person's body when they died. He liked to see that show of light coming out. I guess he meant the spirit of the person or maybe the astral form. Probably the soul, the light of the soul coming out. Anyway, that's what he saw. Um, I think he said he liked to observe people dying. Yeah, that's how it was, not necessarily killing them. Then another person said they like to see the person die because then their face relaxed and he figured that they were at peace. So he figured, I guess, I'm putting words in his mouth right now, I guess he figured that he was bringing them peace by killing them. Then another guy said he liked to see them read around on the ground. He enjoyed that. And then another, a lady said that she liked to hear him beg for mercy. Let me see. And another lady said she just liked the feel of cash in her hands after she killed him. I think she was talking about killing people in old folks' homes for their families, and their families would give her 20 grand for each, for each murder. Although she didn't say that, I thought that was just an intuitive thing. Then somebody else chimed in that they liked killing people because then they, they enjoyed rifling through their pockets for cash. I guess they mean their wallet or like that. And that seems like the more expectable response, doesn't it? It's what people think is the remotive. Um, maybe, um, maybe um, money. And sometimes they say crimes of passion, but nobody answered that that way. Uh, although that's a frequent MO in the detective novels. Let me see, who else said something? Then one man said that he liked that his employer was satisfied with the work he had done after he had killed someone. So um, he was pleased to fulfill the expectations of his employer. Oh yeah, there was a lady. She, uh, she kills by injecting people with drugs, so it seems to be an, a drug overdose. Um, she said she liked to feel, feel the feeling that she was a powerful woman. So, um, let me see, anybody else? I talked to a whole bunch of people, one after the other. Oh, there's a guy who, um, he likes to cut up young girls prepubescent girls and carve like intricate things into their bodies and he didn't have anything to say about why he did that. It's like almost like he goes into a trance state when he does that. So he had no response about it. And uh, there's another guy who likes to off young children. He likes to um, kill young children after sexually molesting them. He, he likes, he said he likes to see um, that moment when he was sexually met, molested as a child flash through his mind and be done with every time he does that. So he was molested and, and injured actually, I think, in some other way than being killed obviously. But it must have felt like death to him. So he's reliving that childhood incident that was so traumatic to him and getting it over with. Here's the last case I have right now. I asked about uh, the people that participate in blood sacrifice, the killing of women uh, for black magic ceremonies, and someone said 
uh, that they did that, they enjoyed doing that, I guess, enjoyed doing that as a sacrament to celebrate the renaissance of life. That's how they said it. So. And all in the space of a couple of minutes, I got all those responses. So I can only, and very varied, very different from what they say, you know, the motive that they say in the detective novels. So I'm suggesting that maybe the people who work with murderers, say in the prisons or like that, um, might want to ask that question, why is it that you like to do that, especially if it's a serial killer? And uh, then work with that response in, in the ways that only you know how. I'm sure you'll come up with the answers. So. This is Alice signing off in the lion's gate with a kind of a lion roaring message. Y'all take care. Love you lots and I hope you find joy in your lives.